All right, what's up, everyone? It's Luis from Koenig Wheels, and we are back for another Behind the Wheel podcast. And we have one of the most, one of the dopest track on the track, hill climb, SCCA champ over here. We got my man, Sherwin Paquet, in the house. What's up, my brother? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. How's good everything? To, good to finally be here. Yes, sir. I'm glad to see that, you know, you guys got the booth out. I know last time I came last year, my car was in the Exidy booth. I was hoping you guys were able to come out, but, you know, Circumstances didn't allow it. So there's, there's a lot more years. This year. Yeah, there's a lot more years, and you've yeah. been working really hard on that build. It's one of the most solid Evo tens that I've seen out there. So thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, but tell me about it. So we're at SEMA. It's 2022. We're in Las Vegas. How how are you liking the event so far? What have you seen that you like so far? To be honest, you know, someone just asked me that question. They're like, "Do I have a favorite car at the event?" Yeah. And. Uh, I think I do. I haven't seen every car, okay. But the one car that stood that stands out to me the most is that car that Chris, Oscar, and Kyle from Bees for Bill built. The uh, the the one seater, the, the Mustang. Oh, the Mustang. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I the, saw that thing. That thing is the rear. The 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 with their engine in the back. That, that thing is. It's not the it. It's not that it just looks amazing. Yeah. It's just that I'm a person that um, I really appreciate the process. Yes. Because that's where you learn. That's yes. where you grow from your failures and everything. And they, you know, there was a lot of roadblocks for them. Yeah. So I, I watched the series online. Yeah. And you know, just to see it here in person, I was like, man, like respect to those guys. I would actually like to meet them one day. I never, I've never met them, but. They'll be here tomorrow, 1 p.m. Oh, that really? Car over there is actually their car, too. Oh, over right, there. the R69. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, so they'll right, be here right. tomorrow, 1 p.m. Yeah, All I'll right, so you, I'll come by. I'd, I'd, like, <laughs> I'd definitely want to meet them, man, because that car is amazing. Like, t- they made it with tape. Yeah. Like, it, it was. it's crazy. Yeah. And for me, to just, like, it's, it's just wow. Yeah. It blows my mind and just the process of it. So for me, not to take away from any other bills in, at SEMA, because everyone went through their own processes yeah. and stuff, but... You know, just watching their process, yeah. it was, it's just amazing. I felt like I was kind of a part of the build, but not a part of the build, yeah. which is sort of what they go for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I can appreciate that, you know? And um, they're one of the reasons why, like, some of the content that I make on my YouTube yeah. is sort of because of them. Yeah. And, you know, I would love to one day grow my channel to there, but, you know, I'm not touching anything they're doing, really. But I just, that's, that's, that's my car for this year. Yo, it's funny because I was telling someone before when they were, even this car itself. You ever you remember the show Cat Dog? No. Oh wait. Remember Cat Dog? It was like half cat dog and it, like one one part of the dog. There was a yes, dog. Yes, yes, and, and it was a cat and, and a dog. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. I always tell people the same people who thought of that show is a, to me is what B is for build is. They just think of these like obscure cars and Out of just the say, box. you know what? I'm gonna do it. Yes. And then make and they it do work. it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, and they do it and you're just like wait how did you do that down to br- like shredding down the car to making their own fabrication to just putting it together and then you see it man happen? i that that car the one that you're talking about the wideness of this car is ridiculous uh, longer than my arms like even yeah right yeah yeah you know what i mean it's just, it's a crazy thing. So those guys are really doing some crazy stuff. A lot of people, and the crazy thing is, a lot of people hate on them. And I think really, it's just, yeah, I think why? It's, I think it's just because they can't do it. And they, you know, it's a lot of purists. You know what I mean? And it's okay to be a purist. You know, I get it. You know what I mean? Keeping the integrity of a car, I get that part of it. But at the end of the day, if you're a car guy, I think you just love it all. Yeah, hundred percent. Because yeah. everyone is a different niche for everyone. Exactly. And you know, you got the you got the the slam the guys. You got the you know guys who just. They just want to have the car. Yeah. You you have the guys who want it race car. You got yeah. the guys who want it show car. Yes, you got sir. you got the guys who want it for just you know to just beat up or just spirited drives and just want to kind of garage queen it or whatever. Yeah. I don't, I don't really think there's nothing wrong with any of it. Yeah. It's just to each his own. Yes. You know what I mean? Honest. I respect everybody build because you know that was your dream. That's yes, what sir. you wanted to do. Yes, sir. So I can't take away from it. But what I you know don't necessarily i'll say that i'm not i don't hate on it but i don't condone it it's like that whole like craziness with like the takeover nonsense that's you all of course yeah i, mean, I can't that and, and we actually did a whole podcast about how 
to me, that's a totally different thing. Yeah, that's I actually not, that's, saw that podcast. You know, yeah. That, you know, that's not, we don't condone that in any capacity. Yeah, At definitely. the end of the day, that's just like some crazy people stuff, you know? Yeah, and it, and, and it really just kind of ruins the, the car company. Yeah, I mean, I mean the car know, community. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I 100% agree with that, man. It's just one of those things where I, you know, you can't condone it, you can't deal with it. No. You, you gotta be, and it's disrespectful to even the car community of itself. 100%. To call yourself a car enthusiast and do stuff like that. It's sad. No, you know it doesn't. Yeah, it, it doesn't compute. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, there's a time and a place for everything, and if you if you want to do that, like, you know, build build a drift car or something. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah, want to yeah. do stuff like that? Build a drift. Learn how to do it properly. Get legit. With Don't it, man. You know, injure someone. Absolutely. Or kill someone. Absolutely. It's sad, man. But yeah, man. Like, anyway, moving on. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Obviously, you're here. Let's talk about Sherwin Paquet. <laughs> One of my favorite things about you is that you do a very different thing than a lot of people do. You do the hill climb, SCC. Tell us a little bit about that. How do you get your car prepared for a series like that? To be honest, I actually just filmed a YouTube video on what I do yeah. to be able to, like, what I do to, to prepare myself for a hill climb. Make um, sure to check that out. What's the inter- what, what is the YouTube channel? Uh, Win It Motorsports. There you go. Uh, plug, plug. <laughs> <My man. laughs> no, but um, so it's my well, my car is kind of straightforward, yeah. right? A lot of people see it and they think, oh man, it's just really like it's got like 900 wheel horsepower or something like that because it does really look pretty aggressive, yeah. but it's not. I chose to keep the motor stock yep. and just add bolt ons. Nice. The reason is because it's very easy to take a credit card and just swipe and put ten thousand dollars in a motor very easy yes sir for me i i wanted to learn to become a better driver Mm -hmm. so my thing was maxing out my own limits Mm -hmm. and the car's limits at where it is now i love and the only thing i upgraded was suspension mods um bushings and tires okay so i can get the most maximum amount of grip from the car Mm -hmm. as possible Mm -hmm. and if i need any changes i'll talk to the suspension company um for instance you know i was just at fortune auto's open house and i'm actually going to change my spring rates for next year okay because i need a stiffer spring rate okay because the roads that i run on it they're very they're unpredictable yes as opposed to like track yes so you know that type of improvement year in and year out at like a, a, a steady power band or lower power man, the improvements in your drive in your I guess driver mod yep, yep. is like phenomenal, Absolutely. and it'll pay dividends when you do add power to the car. Mm-hmm. You know, I've seen so many people where you know, and it's not to take away from them. They've added you know eight nine wheel horsepower, yeah. and one out of the car breaks so often because if you build that car with how much power, the car wants to go. Yeah. It's not for a start and stop and stopping at red lights and all this in the in the street, mm-hmm. like on like a daily driver type of thing. Yeah. So you you got to run it. Yes. And then I see people build cars and they just sell it right away. It's like, what was the point of building it? Well, and the sad part is, is unfortunately a lot of these builders don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Sadly, Sorry, calling Sad- it what it is. It's Sad- true. Sadly, you, you know, know what I mean? mean. So it's like they end up pushing it to the limit. And all of a sudden, they're constantly repaying for new parts and new things and new situations. When at the end of the day, like, look. I, look, these cars, these performance cars are built for performance. It's okay to do what you're doing at the end of the day and it, because it, it works. The Evo 10 is a car that was built for performance. Why push it to the limit where you're breaking parts and all of a sudden you're, you know, you're It doesn't you're need built. to yet. You exactly. get, have fun. Get exactly. seat time. Yes, sir. Because, yeah, what's up? Sherwin, why would you chop up a final edition Evo as your project? Um, that's okay. a very good question. Okay. A few people have that, actually that asked me that. Um, I just don't care. <laughs> um, that's a car guy's question. I mean, that's a car guy's answer. Listen, right man, there. I'm gonna die. I bought the car to drive it. Hell yeah. So nothing against guys who keep it in their garage, but I'm gonna drive it to the fucking wheels fall off. Pardon go. my French. Let's go. Um, but yeah, I guess for me, I just you know it was just a driver mod and learning to become a better driver, and I've learned so much at the yeah. power band that I am. Yeah. So I think in time, which is what we're looking at this year, is to um, build up an engine, but build it up on the side sure. and keep the uh, engine that's in the car now running. So to answer your first question is how do I get prepared? <clears throat> Don't do much. Yeah. You know, check the oil, check the brakes, check the brake lines, check the tires. Nice. Because I did make a mistake 
in one event and didn't check my tires and I crashed. Mm -hmm. And so never doing that again. Yeah. So tires definitely, brakes, um, fluids. Um, I checked to see if there's anything loose, any suspension components loose or anything. Like the last time um, I came back from um, Shenandoah Circuit and Summit Point Raceway, nice. um, I gave the car once over and I realized that one of the end links was disconnected. Mm. And on my very last run of the day, which was my fastest run of the day, um, I ended up getting second place you know, for the weekend overall. The car, like I, I, I made a left turn and I felt the car push mm. and I wasn't sure why. And I was like, okay, why is it going this way? So I just kind of like, you know, course correct and it, it corrected. Yeah. But I was really asking myself, why did it do that? And lo and behold, it's because an end loose came loose. But if anyone's been to Shenandoah Circuit, there's, there's a carousel at that track. Yeah. And the, the entry to that carousel isn't exactly the smoothest. Yeah. And I'm coming up from that straightaway you know, probably like 110, 115, and you're going down, and you're slamming on the brakes, and so that entry is, is rough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I think that is what caused it. Yeah. And so it's very important for me to just check all those components, but for the most part, I don't have to do much. Sure. Just fluid checks, brakes, tires, and I get as much seat time as possible. You know what I mean? When I'm at the track, or I mean when I'm at the hills, air pressure, um, suspension, you know, whether it be stiffness suspensions or even have to lower it or whatever, it's not much. Yeah. And this is why I like to keep it stock because you get it from the factory, it's made to drive. Sure. And so I don't really have to do much except just drive it. Sure, absolutely. You know, it looks aggressive, but you know, I drive it. And you know what's car. funny? Um, a lot of guys would like double the amount of horsepower of me. Like, I've been able to kind of keep up with them. Yeah from that driver mod I spoke about earlier yeah. because, you know, I, I kind of got more familiar with my car and as opposed to having power kind of bogged me down or, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if I can use bog me down as that term, but kind of impede me because I don't know how to handle the power. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've learned to handle the power that I have. Well, and also seat time is important. I'm sure you're getting it, so for yeah. sure. Yeah, so, I mean, that's really what I do to prepare. It's a long so, answer. So, all right, so... We've gotten into, we're going into 2023. Okay. When it comes to your program, because we were talking a little bit just before this on some of the plans that you have coming forward. Uh, what can we look forward to when it comes to Showroom Pat Quiet's program? What are we looking for? Uh, you know, where's the Evo 10 going next? What you got going on, man? Who, um, we made a, I made a short list. I still have to add more, but I guess I'll start with, um, we did get, um, um, Sabelt, Sabelt, yeah, yeah, on last year, nice, nice. And so we, you know, we got a custom suit made for them, from them and whatnot. And so this year, because the car will be at PRI, nice. So we're in talks with them to get, you know, the whole car kind of outfitted with Sabelt, with steering wheels, seat, new harnesses. Because my harnesses, they, um, they will expire this year. Yeah. So we're trying to get that set up for the interior. Uh, what else? What else? We're actually. We got a whole bunch of stuff from Radium. Um, nice. Last year, we got it in February. I actually just made a, I guess a sort of a small apology video for Radium because, you know, they did send this stuff out, but I just, I didn't have an indoor garage at the time ah. and working in the Northeast in New York is yeah. cold and I, that's yeah. where I typically work yeah, yeah, outside yeah. on the car. Yeah, yeah. We, see, so we see where you work, man. I, I, I couldn't really do much. Yeah. So I, um, you know, just made like a small video. I have to post it, you know, apologizing to them for not, you know, getting yeah. stuff on the car because I just didn't want to seem as if like I'm just one of those guys who take stuff and not, you know, do anything with it. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, we're going to install all the radium stuff, you know, add you know, some more fuel things to it, maybe get a little bit more power sure. and try to keep it to where it is and more or less just improve on ourselves and our times because we yeah. have all our times from last year and just improve from that. Absolutely. Like, because the goal for me is just to get better, like, than what I was. Nice. You know what I mean? Nice. So that's... And we're looking forward to it. Like, Thank you. You've already gotten to that point where we have a great relationship with you and you know, we're obviously going to keep supporting you because we think you're you're doing a great job, man. And each year I see you progressing, you know, it's like, and you say it. Some people say it, you know, right. what I mean? and right. then do it. You right. Know, you're one of those people that each year you're doing more and more and you're very on top of making sure that your sponsors are taken care of. As far as for us, you're always contacting us. You're always showing us content. You're always throwing us pictures, images. Thanks, tagging man. I appreciate us. that. So Thank that's you. That's very important when it comes to our sponsorship. You Thank know? you. 
So I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, anytime, man. I, I I understand, you know, even before I even got a sponsor that it was it's a two way street. And um it's one hand to help the other. You know, That's if the company's going out of their way and, you know, having faith in kind of, you know, give handing you their product, I think it's only fair that, you know, you take some time and you, you know, picture, video, you know, tag them. Yeah, it's, those are little things, yeah. man. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a lot. Yeah. Like when you think about it, like the cost of a wheel, it's a lot, right? If you were to purchase it, like, you know, off the shelf or whatever. But all they're asking you is for some photos and tags. Like, it's not difficult. Awesome. You know, like nice. I found that, that I can't get a camera guy to go with me and take photos and um, video of me at the track. So what I did was I bought my own camera and I learned how to edit from photos, the fundamentals, and I would just take my own photos and I'll tag it and uh, I would add it to my website. Um, I like my blog or yeah, yeah. you know the event I just went to and it would have my results it would have the photos from there and I would <clears throat> oh well, it's over that's a wrap <laughs> no yeah but um, and I would like to send that link out to my sponsors yeah. so that they can see these are the results this is what we've done this year and you know if they want any photos sure i'll send it to them you know i'll put everything in a dropbox and they can just have free run or whatever photos they want again it's not necessarily something hard yeah you know what i mean Literally, just take the initiative I, I, I try to tell people that all the time i'm like even sometimes taking pictures from your phone it's better than nothing yeah <laughs> Like, some people literally will send us nothing. And it's like, you know, okay, so that's the reason why sometimes we have to be so hesitant. We have to 100%. be more vetted, you know what I mean? And make sure, like, we can work with this person because we've been burned. And I'm sure vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, even for the driver, the 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 company has to play their part as well. That's the reason why, you know, for example, I send you an email. Hey, sure, when you got anything going on, let's work together. Hey, I'm coming over to you. Let's do some video. And I do that with everyone. You right. Know, because at the right. end of the day, it's a partnership. 100%. I'm playing my part. You play a part. And that's 100%. how we make a symbiotic relationship. 100%. You know, you know and then with the car going to PRI, I actually want, was going to send you an email this week saying, hey, the car is going to PRI. Um, is there anything you'd want to display with it? Uh -huh. Is there anything you didn't want to display with yeah. it? Like, what? how can I help, yeah. you know, maybe display some stuff, whether yeah. it's... It, like something you that you've done like it doesn't matter anything i can help you know what i mean if you guys aren't going to be there then i'll be a representative there for you i pray i mean i appreciate that man yeah anytime man anytime so to, to conclude the the conversation here and the podcast you're in vegas man what are you doing tonight yo i don't even know man like you just um, got here yes i got here last night um i ain't go to sleep until like three in the morning oh we was going to like different hotels but um i'm staying at caesar's nice um, it's a nice hotel man yeah, that's a very nice hotel <laughs> i bro. saw it man i saw it's it a, woo. yeah <laughs> like, that's my first time over there i was like oh man Yo, i was surprised too when i saw it i was like is that that's see it's literally a palace bro bro like yeah, yeah you know i ain't go front i was tempted to walk up to the front desk and pull some hangover shit did caesar live here <laughs> I didn't think so. Like, you know, that, that was good. Like, I was, I, was, I, was getting ready. I, was, I, I was tempted. My girl was like, don't do that. Do not do that. Um, no, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight, man. I um, I know the friends I'm here with, they want to go to, I forget what restaurant it was, to get dinner or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of um, good food in Vegas. I might yeah. be very surprised. Yeah. I, you know, like, because we live in New York. New York is like the cap, you know, the center oh, yeah. of the world. Oh, so yeah. It's melting there's pot. There's great restaurants there, but... Everywhere we've been here so far, it's been good too, man. Very much so. Like, yeah. have you guys been to Rouse? No, no, no. Yo, but but I know some out of Rouse. our teammates have. So. Yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. I went there last year. It's so good. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, man. It's but I will say though, on this time around in Vegas, I want I'm staying away from the clubs, man. I yeah, yeah. Last time, last year, bro. I ain't like when we were not one night. I didn't even sleep. I think we went to like eight different clubs. And uh, yeah, well, I was just telling them. So we're staying at the Virgin Hotel, right? And all these if you haven't been to vegas everywhere in vegas has like like stuff to do in the hotel as oh, well you yo, know what I mean? so yeah much. so there's so much to do so in in our hotel there's actually a club and mm -hmm. i went there and well you know we got a little tipsy and whatnot right and um we ended up like there was like a dance battle going on and i'm you like you got back in it i got in it i was like lost to a girl twerking but it's all right, it's all right. oh my god <laughs> Could have cut that, yo. Cut that out, man. Don't put that in there. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no. Yeah, but I don't know. But yeah, it's a good time. All right, cool. So you're going to just chill out and have dinner? That's always yeah, a good Yeah, I too. mean, we'll That's see, good. man, because um, a few people are telling me they're going to go to Top Golf. Okay. So oh, I, yeah, yeah. I might I might check that out. Nice. nice. Um but yeah, that's true about it. I'm just trying to chill this. I didn't bring no sh- dress shoes. I didn't bring no suit, no nothing. Last year I came with like four blazers, dress pants, Chelsea boots. I was ready to go. Yeah. But this time nah, I'm good. I'm chilling, man. Um, I'm only here for three days and I wanna relax. I get you. Although you can't really relax in Vegas, know, but a, yeah. We're gonna try your best. Though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Just keep it chill. Yeah. All right, Sharon. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining Yo. us on the podcast. We're always appreciate Thanks for having you. me, man. Always, this is like the spur of the moment thing. I loved it. I it was it. it just worked out well, perfectly. That's what I was telling. Sometimes it's just you just have to have conversations. Sometimes we try to look for topics and stuff, but sometimes you get better stories when you just riff it and yeah. have fun. And yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent, man. Appreciate oh, and it. like I forgot to add this for added oh, to next year. You know, I really would love to approach Jordan Brand. You know, we we, oh, yeah. we got some connects there, so we'll see. We're, we're, gonna we're just trying to make the connection. We'll clip this out and, be, and and make sure we put like a giant Jordan logo. Yo, seriously, right? Seconds. Yo, Jordan, yeah. what's up? This Yo, Jumpman Twenty Three, get on it. Go. No, we're just trying to make the connection between Jordan Brand and Grassroots Motorsports uh, because I know they're in NASCAR, but I'm there's an audience for them. In grassroots motorsports and you know we we believe that you know there's something that it could be very beneficial moving I forward think so. So i think you and we'll i think see. you're a great representative for Thanks, any man. brand so. i appreciate it yeah, thank appreciate you it. thank All you right. thank you so much for joining us on the podcast i'm Luis from koenig sherwin Pequet. yep Peace. catch me on uh winning motorsports on ig get him <laughs>